welcome back to our channel folks hope you enjoyed our previous video if you are not subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and help us and motivate us today we have a very interesting video on the first definitive series stamps of india before we get into the stamps let us have the trivia for today in our last video you would have noticed that commemorative stamps are issued for certain period only there is one commemorative stamp of india which was issued for a specific event and it was valid just for a day do you know what is that stamp wait for the answer at the end of this video hey folks do you know both the rupees displayed here are not the same why because the decimal coinage was in vogue from 1st april 1957 only before that we had a standard coinage system so to understand the currencies involved in the first definitive series you must also know some basic information about the standard coinage system standard coinage system the rupee is further divided into annas pais and pais so let us see how this is broken down one standard rupee is equivalent to 16 annas and one anna is equal to four paises now one pais is equal to three pais it is interesting to note that in the coinage system after anna we have only pais there are no pais but in the postage stamps after anna we have only pais but we don't have paises so this is the difference let's come back to the first definitive series of india the designs of these stamps are carefully selected to highlight the rich architectural and archaeological heritage of india all these stamps were printed from indian security press at nasik and the stamps were issued on 15th of august 1949 all the stamps had a watermark of multiple star if you look closely on the stamps you could identify a star watermark the first issue of the series is a 3 pi stamp the image depicted in the stamp is an elephant panel from the famous ajanta caves which is the rocket buddhist cave monuments starting from 2nd century bc to 480 ad the philatelic information of this stamp are described here the next stamp is six pies stamp this stamp depicts the image of an warrior standing before an war horse present at the konark san temple built during the 13th century philatelic information about this stamp can be found here the next stamp is the nine pi stamps the image depicted on this stamp is the trimurti sculpture found at the 2nd century bc elephant tank caves predominantly dedicated to the hindu god shiva the philatelic information about this stamp can be found here the next stamp is the one anna stamp this stamp depicts the image of the bodhisattva sculpture found at the lucknow museum as per buddhism bodhisattva means a person who is on the path towards bodhi or buddhahood the philatelic information of this stamp is found here later it was found that the sculpture was depicted wrongly with left arm 
resting on the knee the actual sculpture should have the right arm resting on the knee to rectify this a new stamp was issued on 15th july 1950 with the right image of the bodhisattva the philatelic information of this new stamp can be found here the next stamp is the two anna stamp the image depicted in this stamp is nadaraja from the tiruvelangadu temple near chennai it was built by the cholas in the 12th century ad and it is known as the ratna sabai depicting the pancha sabais of nadaraja the philatelic information of this stamp can be found here the next stamp is a triana stamp the image depicted here is the eastern gateway of the sanchi stupa sanchi stupa is one of the greatest buddhist monument built by ashoka the great in 3rd century bc the toranas or the gateways were later added in the 1st century bc the philatelic information about this stamp can be found here the next in line is a three and a half anna stamp the image depicted here is the mahabodhi temple at bodh gaya this is an important place in the life of lord buddha where he had attained enlightenment the present structure was built during 5th to 6th century ad the philatelic information related to this stamp can be found here the next stamp is the four anna stamp the image depicted here is the famous lingaraja temple the largest shiva temple in the city of bhubaneswar it stands testimony to the kalinga architecture and was built during the 6th century ad the philatelic information of this stamp are given here the tariff for international surface postage was changed from 3 and 1/2 annas to 4 annas with effect from 1st december 1950 as per universal postal union guidelines the postage stamps for international surface should be in blue color in view of this the color of the four annas lingaraja temple stamp was changed from lake to blue color the philatelic information of this new issue is given here since the surface rate is changed from 3 and 1/2 to 4 annas the 3 and 1/2 anna bodh gaya temple stamp color is also changed from blue to lake further the value was changed to 2 and 1/2 annas This new stamp was issued from 30th April 1951. Philatelic information of this stamp is provided here. The next stamp is the six anna stamp. The image depicted here is gold gumbas of Bijapur. This is a technically advanced domed structure built during the 17th century standing testimony to the indo-islamic architecture of the deccan region the philatelic information about this stamp is provided here the next one is the eight anna stamp the image depicted here is the kandariya mahadeva temple dedicated to lord shiva and part of the group of temples at kacharaho it was built during the 11th century ad the philatelic information of this stamp is provided here the next stamp is the tolana stamp the image depicted here is the harmindar sahib or popularly known as the golden temple the famous gurudwara 
at Amritsar. The philatelic information of this stamp can be found here. The next stamp is the one rupee stamp. The image depicted here is the Vijay Stamba or the Victory Tower located within the Chittur Fort in Chittagar, constructed by the Rajput King Rana Kumba of Mewar in 1448 to commemorate his victory over the army of Malwa led by Mahmud Kaliji. The tower is dedicated to the Hindu god Vishnu. The philatelic information about this stamp is furnished here. The next stamp is a 2 rupee stamp. The image depicted here is a Lal Killa or the Red Foot, an historic fort at Old Delhi built by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in 17th century when he decided to shift the capital from Agra to Delhi. The philatelic information about this stamp is provided here. The next stamp is the 5 rupees stamp. The image depicted in this stamp is the world famous marble marvel Taj Mahal commissioned by Emperor Shah Jahan in the year 1631 on the banks of the river Yamuna. Further philatelic information about these stamps are here. The next stamp is the 10 rupee stamp. It bears the image of the Kudup Minar built by the Kudup Idin Aibak in 12th century. The philatelic information about this stamp is provided here. There is also a color variation to this stamp where you have this stamp in blue as well as deep blue colors. The last stamp of the first definitive series is the 15 rupee stamp. It depicts the group of Jain temples known as Palitana temples at the Shratunjaya hills. It is one of the sacred sites of Jainism built in and around the 11th century AD. The philatelic information about these stamps are described below. Did you found the answer for the trivia question? Yes, it's none other than the special commodity stamp issued on the occasion of the first international flight of Air India from Bombay to London on 8th of June 1948. The postal authorities decided that these stamps would be printed in limited quantities and be valid only for use on the day of the flight and that too only on mail to be flown on that flight from Bombay to London via Cairo and Geneva. While the sale of stamps were permitted starting from 29th of May 1948 at various post offices across India, no post office was permitted to cancel the stamps except the Bombay GPU which was to use the special box rectangular gadget on the day of flight that is 8th June 1948. So these stamps were valid for use only on one day and that too only on one plane journey. Interesting, isn't it? We would like to express our gratitude to SIPA and its members for enriching us with many such informations. Thank you for watching this video folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please do like and share this video and also subscribe to our channel to support us and motivate us. Thank you.